This video shows how to use Pixel Film Studio's Auto Tracker 1.1 to track 3D text to a moving object using the 3D text tool with rotation and scale change. The effect I want to end up with is for the text to look like it's a real 3D object sitting on the surface of the pond. First, scrub through the timeline and figure out where you want the text to begin. Set the playhead there. After you install Pixel Film Studio's Auto Tracker 1.1, you'll find it in the Titles library. The 4K Digital Cinema option is for a wider aspect ratio. This video was shot in 4K 16x9, so I'll use the 4K UHD 3D text option. Drag it down to the timeline and let it snap to the point where you set the playhead. Now adjust the end of the auto tracker to where the text will end. Click on it to highlight it and you should see the tracking box appear. Drag the auto tracker box to an item in your video that can be tracked. Try to pick an object that has well-defined edges and contrasts with the background. For this example, I'm going to use the custom bounding box and draw a perimeter around the whole pond. Next, turn on draw track data and set the search size to around 30 and I'm turning on track scale and track rotation since both of those variables change during the video clip. Make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the auto tracker clip in the timeline and click track forward. The tracking box should snap back to the target object with each frame. If it starts to stray away from the target object, your video will not track correctly. If that happens, click stop track and then clear the track data. Try increasing the search size and restart the tracking sequence. When the tracking is all done, turn off snapping and move the playhead through the timeline and make sure all the tracking points are centered on the tracked object. Tracking looks good here, so I'm unchecking the tracking data boxes. When turned off, the tracking points are still there, but just not displayed on the screen. Go down and enter your text and then increase the overall scale to make your text appear. Switch over to the text inspector and select the font. Click on the 3D text checkbox. I'm switching back over to Titles Inspector to adjust the angle of the text. Switching off Perspective Guide. Adjusting depth of the 3D text under Text Inspector. Make any final adjustments to your text. In this example where the text is made to look like part of the scene, I'll cut to the clip that has the text, and then cut to a different clip at the end of the text, so that the text doesn't appear out of thin air and then disappear. You can see that different parts of the 3D text come into view as the camera rotates around the pond and the scale seems to track properly also. Thanks for watching.